So in this lecture, we are going to discuss the vascular distensibility. What is basically vascular distensibility? Vascular distensibility in simple words is the ability of the blood vessels to dilate. When pressure in the blood vessels is increased, this dilates the vessel and decreases the resistance. Suppose for example, we have a blood vessel here. This is the blood vessel with a specific amount of pressure, blood pressure in this vessel. When the pressure here increases, pressure here increases, this will basically dilate the blood vessel. This will dilate the blood vessel. So when the pressure in the blood vessels is increased, this dilates pressure is increased it dilates the vessel and decreases the resistance so vascular distensibility is the ability of the blood vessel to dilate due to increase in pressure and this dilation this dil dilatation of the blood vessel basically leads to increase in blood flow this results in increased blood flow due to increased pressure increased pressure and decreased resistance when the pressure of blood in the vessel increases it increases the blood flow by two mechanisms first of all it increases the pressure increases the pressure so it pushes the blood increase pressure push the blood forward and increase in pressure also leads to dilatation which results with decreased resistance when the blood vessels here have dilated this dilation has also decreased the resistance so vascular distensibility helps in increase of blood flow due to not only increase in pressure but also decreased resistance so this is a property of the blood vessel which helps basically in increasing the blood flow there are other advantages of the dilation uh, dilation or distensibility of the vessels distensible nature of the arteries distensible nature of the arteries allow them to accommodate pulsatile output of the heart the heart is basically pumping pumping the blood in systole and diastole systole and diastole the pressure increase in systole and decrease in diastole increase in systole and decrease in diastole so when the blood is coming here in a pulsatile nature because the pulsatile because of pulsatile output of the heart the vessels keep on dilating and uh, the uh, dilating and increasing their diameter and then decreasing this helps this helps in a smooth blood flow in the capillaries and the small blood vessels so the distensible nature of the arteries the arteries the distensible nature of the arteries helps in accommodation of pulsatile output of the heart the heart is pumping the blood in a pulsatile nature it is increasing the pressure and it is decreasing the pressure so that pulsatile nature is accommodated in the arteries because of their distensibility the distensible nature of the veins allow them to act as a reservoir of blood the veins on the other hand they when get dilated it leads to accumulation of a lot of blood here so the distensible nature of the arteries basically are allowing to accommodate the pulsatile output of the heart but the distensible nature of the veins are allowing to accommodate uh, and uh, a lot of blood and act as reservoir of blood arteries are eight times less distensible than veins arteries are eight times less distensible than veins so the veins can act as a reservoir because they can they can accumulate about 
एट टाइम्स मोर ब्लड दे कैन डायलेट अबाउट एट टाइम्स दैट ऑफ द आर्टरीज इफ दिस इज एन आर्टरी देन दिस इज अ वेन सो द डिस्टेंसिबल नेचर ऑफ द वेन इज अबाउट एट टाइम्स दैट ऑफ द आर्टरीज सो इट कैन अक्यूमुलेट अबाउट एट टाइम्स द ब्लड दैट ऑफ द आर्टरीज नाउ द वास्कुलर डिस्टेंसिबिलिटी इज बेसिकली कैलकुलेटेड बाय इंक्रीज इन वॉल्यूम डिवाइडेड बाय इंक्रीज इन प्रेशर इनटू ओरिजिनल वॉल्यूम सो बेसिकली वी कैलकुलेट द वास्कुलर डिस्टेंसिबिलिटी बाय कैलकुलेटिंग द वॉल्यूम दैट हैज इंक्रीज द द इंक्रीज इन द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द ब्लड वेसल डिवाइडेड बाय इंक्रीज इन प्रेशर इंक्रीज इन प्रेशर एंड द ओरिजिनल वॉल्यूम the volume before the distensibility so basically the distensibility shows the increase in volume for the increase in pressure it basically men it basically shows how the blood vessels are accumulating more volume for more pressure so that's the equation to calculate the vascular distensibility so that's a simple and easy lecture about the vascular distensibility vascular distensibility is basically the ability of the vessels to dilate when the pressure in the blood vessels is increased this dilates the vessel and decrease the resistance this helps in increased blood flow due to two mechanisms increased pressure and decreased resistance increased pressure and decreased resistance when the vessel has dilated the resistance has gone down now this distensibility of the vessels has two different functions in the arteries it allows the accommodation of pulsatile output of the heart and in the veins it allows them to act as a reservoir of blood but veins are more distensible so it accumulates eight times more blood as compared to the arteries it's because the the wall of the arteries is a bit thicker the wall of the artery is thicker but the wall of a vein the wall of a vein is very much thin so it is more distensible it can acc accumulate more blood and it can act as a reservoir of the blood and vascular distensibility is basically calculated as a increase in volume for increase in pressure so that's all about the vascular distensibility of the blood vessels and its function in arteries and veins thanks a lot for watching the video